Hey, Achievement Hunters, I've got some good news for you guys that I can now share since it's been revealed on the recent live stream. So if you aren't aware, in version 2.3, every single achievement relating to Yan Qing and Kafka will be now obtainable for everyone. So these achievements were once gacha locked behind owning certain characters since there was no way of fighting these two with support characters. But come version 2.3, thanks to the new planar ornament extraction mode and the Divergent Universe, these achievements are now available for everyone. So the way that this all works is that in version 2.3, we get access to a new simulated universe mode called Divergent Universe and also a new planar set farming method called planar ornament extraction. Now these two things are totally separate. I think a lot of people are confused and think that the Divergent Universe is just a quality of life change for farming spheres, but no. The Divergent Universe is a massive expansion to the Simulated Universe on par with the Swarm Disaster and Golden Gears. It's huge and it's its very own thing. But where these two worlds collide is that upon finishing a Divergent Universe run, the game allows you to save your run as a save file. So what this means is that every single blessing, equation, and courier that you picked up along the way gets saved and you can have up to four of these save files. Then when we go over to the planar extraction mode, you can then pick any of these save files to load and use that save file to farm the boss for spheres and orbs. So the characters that you used aren't saved, so you're free to pick whatever team you want, but everything else is pulled from that save file. Now, the reason why all these achievements now get opened up for us as achievement hunters is because this planar extraction mode allows for support characters. And with the bosses available being the ones from each simulated universe world, we have access to both Yan Qing and Kafka. So just as a reminder, these achievements are when the hunter becomes the hunted, use Silver Wolf to apply two weaknesses to Kafka, go Blady, use Blade against Kafka and be dominated by her, and Self Hypnosis, use Kafka against Boss Kafka and be dominated by her. And then for the Yan Qing achievements, we've got all of the War Dance trials, namely War Dance Epi trial, use Lao Cha to deal the final killing blow against Yan Qing, use Yan Qing to deal the final blow against Yan Qing, War Dance Soul Steel trial, land the killing blow using Jing Liu, and then finally War Dance Glaive Trial using Jing Yuan to do the final blow against Yan Qing. So that's pretty exciting stuff. For some of you guys, that's seven new achievements thanks to this. Now let's answer some commonly asked questions that I've seen floating around. Firstly, how long do these save files last? Can I just get one god run save file and use it to farm? So no, unfortunately these save files get reset every week, so you're still gonna need to redo a run each week to create a new save file. Next up, do I get credit towards my 14,000 simulated universe points for herder bonds and ornament tokens via the Divergent Universe? So yes, you do. So once the Divergent Universe comes out, there's pretty much no reason to ever touch the original simulated universe ever again. You can even spend your four free tokens in the planar extraction mode as well. And then lastly, can I get the agency achievement with this method? So no, unfortunately not. The Agentia achievement requires you to actually run the simulated universe, so that's still not going to be possible with this method, since this only lets you summon characters into boss fights and not the actual simulated universe itself. Okay, so I think that covers most of the commonly asked questions that I see floating around, so if you have any more questions, drop it down in the comments and I'll try to respond. When version 2.3 comes out, I'm going to be releasing a whole bunch of guides for the Divergent universe and all of the 2.3 achievements, so keep an eye out for that. And I'm also gonna be streaming my Divergent Universe playthroughs on Twitch as we push through for the Threshold Protocol difficulty level six. So come check me out on there if you wanna be part of that over at twitch.tv slash knackfrog.